So we made one extra stop for some gas. We have like an hour left of driving to do and we had to switch because I'm just tired. But I've been driving for like the last four hours, right? Um, three or four? Two, three. Because when I started driving it said like three hours and 45 minutes and now it's saying like an hour and 12. So we, uh, we stopped, got gas and uh, we'll be off on our way. to a lot of traffic on the way here but we made it uh i just finished a shower after i unpacked and everything but to be honest this airbnb is really nice like it's fancy like let me show you they got a whole ass piano and uh there's that this is our bed there's a washing machine there's this they have a lovely table whole setup where we're about to game for the night. Wonderful kitchen, very simple. His soap spilled, so it's sitting there. And then where I just took my shower. But yeah, it's it was a really easy trip here. And we're getting settled for the night and I'll see y'all tomorrow when we get into everything so with- It's uh, almost 7.30 in the morning. Uh, got up at seven, took my, my vitamins, had a little bit of snack getting ready to go for the day got got my hat got my my jacket with tank top and some jeans and some thick socks since we're gonna be doing stuff today I just gotta finish up a few more things and then we're gonna head to breakfast so that's it for right now so I was using the bathroom and my boyfriend looked at the side of the fucking fridge and apparently got some very interesting magnets here so I'm not I'm not gonna move any of these and we haven't touched them so we have using dildo for a sexual act doesn't work uh, another method of birth control the irritation as the most favored sexual activity they did not is it true that lesbians normally use dildos by no means brand cause irritation uh, such irritation, 12%. Weinberg found that 76% said lesbian reject. Uh, fingers in the vagina is optional. It can be satisfying. Uh, the idea that the vagina has to be filled, not a requirement. Oral sex, they enjoyed it. <laughs> they enjoyed it. <laughs> um... What is uh, serious medical risk? By no means all to be. I heard that foam irritates the vagina and the penis. Is that true? I, I swear this is the best find this morning. You're Thank you. Thank you. All right. I got to find breakfast. We decided Wendy's for breakfast. And I got to say, as a California driver, <laughs> There's so many one-way streets here, and it's kind of confusing driving through here, but it's not bad. Um, it's just a little frustrating, and I'm going to have to get used to it. Uh, it's really pretty. The morning here, very cool, very nice. Um, everybody here is kind of like where I live. There's people out riding their bikes and walking their dogs early in the morning. Um, so not terrible. We're getting Wendy's for breakfast, and this is a fancy ass Wendy's, let me tell you. Like, it's much nicer than most of the ones I have seen in California, so. So, finished breakfast. 
at Target right now because we were supposed to make snacks and water. And right now we're looking at Legos. So I wanted to make a joke about the 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 submarine in the Titanic, but they don't have any submarine sets, and I'm very upset about that. So we're biking and uh, going down a trail. It's a green trail. It's supposed to be easy. And I started slowing down, but I didn't slow down fast enough. So I was going to hit a tree, and I had to fucking bail from the bike so I didn't eat wood. So just uh, a little dirty. We're taking a little bit of a break before we keep going. We're very tired. So yeah, so fun day home. for me. Back to the Airbnb a bit ago, but I had to unpack and I had to change out of my clothes because I was completely covered in dirt from falling earlier. Um, but we unpacked. Uh, I'm kind of just relaxing in my sports bra. <laughs> so it's hot. We have the air conditioning going, but it's not doing great. Um, so relaxing for a little bit until we go to dinner and then when we get back I'm gonna play boy Woodlands and relax for my night it's just I'm finding a nap right now so if I try and play video games I'm not gonna be focused and I'm gonna be too tired and if I'm playing Borderlands I want to be like fully involved um so excited for that uh we're going to uh the Hard Rock tonight and so I'll try and get a little bit of footage of that, if not just pictures of my food. Um, so check in with you in a bit. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the dinner. We, uh, we made a stop at a Hot Topic. We had rock, hard rock for dinner. It was delicious. Uh, I always love going there. So we came back for the night uh, and we're just going to play Borderlands till bed. Alright, that's all the update is. Uh, our plans for today got canceled because the place we we're gonna go is closed so I stayed at home playing video games I played Pokemon Violet all day my boyfriend slept we went out to Thane's table tonight for dinner instead of tomorrow bomb as fuck they had gluten-free pizza dough that was actually good it wasn't cracker crust it wasn't cauliflower and it was actually good I'm not used to having good gluten-free pizza I'm used to just tolerating it but it was delicious they also had gluten-free, nut-free chocolate cake. And I gotta say, after last night not being able to get dessert was really nice. And it was light and fluffy and moist. Definitely recommend it if you're around the Denver, Colorado area. And I had three drinks. And I gotta say, the Thunderbolt Elixir, dangerous, delicious, but dangerous. All right, so that's about it for this. The station. <laughs> And oh my god, it's wild. Let me go to the One sec. I'm doing filming. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, hope to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better day uh, uh, Meow Wolf Denver. It was really fun and I took a lot of pictures 
and we got hungry so we decided to leave early so we've decided on Jersey Mike's for lunch so we're gonna go do that and then to smash it Room, and um, I don't know if uh, I talked about this yet, but fucking gas prices like California could never. But uh, we are heading back to the Airbnb till dinner. We're very tired, using a sledgehammer, exhausting. My muscles hurt. Uh, I'm an asthmatic, so it's even worse. Um, you know, it's been a good day. Uh, uh, I'll probably update you guys for dinner if we end up going anywhere. If not, the next time you'll hear from me is, um, what's it called? Tomorrow when we go to the amusement park. So we just got done with dinner. We went to Yard House. And uh, so on our way in, uh, we went to get the ticket for the parking lot because we were here the other day and there was these two guys like, how, how does this work? And they were struggling and we're like, and we're like, oh, this is how. And we helped them get the ticket and everything. And they're like, okay. So they paid for the ticket and everything and walked off. So we got our ticket and we realized they left theirs in the machine. So we f found out what the license plate was and then ran it over and stuck it on their car so they wouldn't get a ticket. Anything to add? Why are we like this and why does no one else like actually do this? I'm pretty sure other people do it. I think I know, but I feel like it's not as often. I feel like people just don't bother. Fair. We we take the inconvenience and help others. Yeah. We're good people. So we're still in Denver. Uh Casey was feeling tired today, so we ended up not going out. Uh so we're sitting here playing video games and I heard something. I was like, oh, and it's thunder. We also saw lightning in the sky, but like wild that the week we're here, we get like a thunder and lightning storm during it's still, summer. It's like 80, 80 something degrees out. Still like 80 something degrees out, but funny. If you look over, there's clear skies that way, but it's like all gray right here. 
Anyway, started that was hailing. all. And it's not small hail either. It's like the balls of ice you get in nice drinks. Girl, look at that. Look at how big that is. Oh, yes. Also, it's hella fucking windy out now. Ooh, it's smacking windows. Oh, it's nice out here. Damn. They're actual fucking ice cubes. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Look how big that is. That is not small. I'll get back inside. It's crazy out here. I do out for drinks. Apparently in Denver, when you have a vertical ID versus a horizontal ID, they won't serve you alcohol uh, at a real bar, uh, which wild. Uh, this is the first time we've had this problem. We didn't know we would encounter this problem. But uh, yeah, that's uh, the sucky part about, uh, you know, being uh, 21 and 22 is yeah. And your thing doesn't expire until 26. Yeah, so mine you, doesn't expire until 26. So you would be that you, you would be stuck there until 25. But so. my California ID, I've had it since I was 18, so I can get that one renewed. And then I can just show them my real ID instead of my driver's license. That's the same thing. Yeah, no, but your driver's license is different from your ID in the fact that your driver's license says you're allowed to drive. So it's not the same thing. When yeah, it's just an ID. It still has the real ID and implications on there. Yeah. It has the real ID stuff, but it doesn't have the you can drive stuff. So I can get my real ID redone, and then we won't have this problem. But for right now, my uh, driver's no, license didn't is really not. didn't do anything today. Colin was very tired. And so we just stayed at the Airbnb today, play video games. Uh, we stopped because I needed dinner. Colin's food just arrived. So, waiting for him to finish that, and we'll probably go back to games. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, tomorrow, the things we're going to do today, we're probably going to do tomorrow, so next thing you see will probably Good be that. morning, everybody. It's um, 10.51 in the morning. Colin's not quite up yet. I just finished like eating breakfast, taking my vitamins, doing my medication stuff. I don't, I'm not dressed. I don't have my glasses on. But, um... <laughs> Uh, Casey wanted me to tell you guys about this, and I figured what what a better way to start the day. So last night we were going to bed, you know, we were laying down, and I had the blankets on like my lower half. I was laying on my stomach because that's just comfortable for me. Uh, I had my phone propped up. I was watching my show, and all of a sudden I got like really hot. So I started trying to take the blanket off, but it was like stuck, like for ever, whatever reason, it was wrapped around me so tightly, and. Um, like I was struggling to get it off, so I was flailing my little feet, and I trying to get it off, and I was trying to be like gentle about it. And so I finally get off, and he's, he's like, "You good?" And I was like, "Sorry, did I wake?" He was, was like, "You woke me up." I'm like, "I'm sorry, I didn't mean to." We're not used to sleeping next to each other. This is the first time I've really gotten to sleep next to him since our anniversary last year. Besides, like naps. Um, ooh, sorry, breakfast. Um, so I was like, I'm sorry. The blanket tried to eat me and I was stuck and I couldn't get it off. And he was high. And I, it was so late in the day that I was delusional. So everything was fucking funny. So we started laughing. And like, I kept just being like, I'm sorry. I was stuck. I wouldn't come off. It was trying to eat me. <laughs> and, um, so we ended up laughing really hard at like midnight. And, um, so we ended up getting up, drinking some water, and then, like, calming down. And then we laid back down, and I started talking about it again, and we started laughing again. And then I fell off the bed, and then we started laughing about that. And then we got up, drank some more water. I'm like, okay, let's go to bed. And then, so I put on a video, and he's like, isn't that what you watched last night? I was like, yeah, but I fell asleep watching it. So when I fell asleep watching things, I'll go back to finish watching where I fell asleep at. So, um, uh, what's it called? Um, 
So I was like, oh, here, let me show you what else I watch. And so we ended up watching uh, The Click, because uh, he does Reddit stories. So we ended up watching that, and then we watched some Sunday, and then I put on, um, uh, I think it's Game Theory, not GT Live. Yeah, it would be Game Theory. I put on Game Theory's complete lore video that was like, I think an hour long, and we fell asleep listening to that. And then I woke up like at 3 in the morning, put my phone on nightstand because I leaned it against the pillows because we were like laying next to each other with the phone between us, just watching, watching what I had going and then I put my phone away and then I was just kind of up and down. Like I, I don't know why I can't sleep solidly. Like my brain has just been, firstly, I've been getting terrible headaches for the last three weeks consistently, like every day. It always starts right here and it just it hurts um and so like on top of that I've been like waking up every like couple hours while I've been sleeping which isn't great but you know what can I do um it is a little better sleeping next to somebody like I've been waking up a lot less and I've actually been so falling asleep a little easier but it's just it's wild anyway so the plan is at 11 to wake up Casey I'm going to finish getting dressed and that way he can get up, get his meds and we can get ready to go. We're supposed to go to amusement park today, but we got to check to see if it's going to be open because it was raining yesterday and I don't know if it's going to rain again today. And so it might be closed today. Anyway, uh, whenever this picks up is whenever it picks up. Wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day Yo, Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood All right. but it's So we just finished at the amusement park Cause it's fucking raining outside as you can see on the back window um, But it was a good day We won some prizes I won a donut and a dolphin And it looks like mangoes So I named it Mango um, Mango also, while we were in line for one of the rides, we walked by a um, uh, soda machine, and to, being impulsive, I pressed a button, and then a soda came out. <laughs> I didn't pay for this soda. It just dropped one, and we're like, okay. And we pressed another one, and another one came out, and then we hit it again, and another one came out, and then like 50 people got sodas, like a, ton, a few people in front of us, and like... A lot of people down the back of the line were still getting sodas like an hour later people were still getting sodas and it was like it was crazy anyway so we picked up some souvenirs for us and our mothers and we're about to go out to lunch and I want soup because it's cold so I'll let you know how that goes I'm not gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna go to bed now because I gotta be up. It's two, so I can be ready. So I can be ready before three, so we can leave. Hopefully before three. We got a long day of driving home tomorrow, so it's a yell then. Check in for some updates on the. 3:06 in the morning. We're gonna leave out from the B and B, and our first check in will be at Four Corners. corners so I uh, we stopped at a gas station and there wasn't much over there anyway I'll put the pictures in the vlog but that's about it uh, anyway our next check-in will probably be so when we get lunch we just got gas we stopped for food at little Caesars I'm not super hungry right now so we're just picking up food for Casey and then we're gonna be on the road switching drivers and then it's off to Vegas and our next stop will be at area 15 so I can see if they have 
and uh, a Meow Wolf Vegas sticker and um, uh, for dinner. All right, I'll check in with you then. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Ate food, got my sticker, got snackaroos for my parents. It was way too loud to vlog in there, which is why I didn't. But I'll post the little bit of video I got of the inside for you guys. You see that? What? You don't know that that's called B-roll, right? No, I don't know technical terms. It's called B-roll footage, come on. Anyway. But we're probably gonna drop, stop by a gas station and the next check-in will be uh, off. What time in the morning? It's almost 1 a.m., it's 12.57. I'm finally home, don't get me wrong. I love my vacation, I wish it hadn't ended, but I am glad to be back home in my own space. It's so nice. Anyway, thank y'all for stopping in to watch this. I know it's very much not what I normally do, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.